Okay, so, so far we have this gray. We have this maroon. We're gonna move these out of the way because I don't want them to be damaged. And if you remember this guy, it was a very beautiful pink, but it did not, with all of I tried, did not live, last, <laughs> live through the painting. So we've definitely got that. Um, so that's two colors. Here is our blood, which is our medium. I kind of want to stick away from the white. Um, but that one at least needs a tablespoon of the flood. This is the 100%. This is a half a tablespoon. The actual tablespoon is in the wash. Like super scared it's gonna like fly off on me. Okay. Next up I'm going to, we're just gonna make our own colors today. That is what we're doing. We do half and half of this color. The reason I gave this one less is because we are going to put another color inside of it. Maybe more of the red. So we can either do more of the red, we can maybe do a gray. I don't know what that's going to look like. Or we can actually do, let's let's go ahead and mix these two up, see what we have first, as in our color coordinations. Love how that turns a marble color, right when you mix it up. Out of there. Right now these two are the same color, so we'll just go ahead and use the same brush, the same tool, like again. Once that marbling goes away, you're completely stirred. I actually turned into a nice gray. All that gray we can get right at this point. Okay, so next up we are going to need a color for this. I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. I am just gonna go for it, guys. What type of purple we can get out of that? And if it turns into mud, hey, it turns into mud. That blue is fighting this turn. Oh my goodness. Okay, that turned into a really nice purple, guys. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that is a really nice purple. Light, but still dark enough that it contrasts with these guys here. Um, give me one second, I'm gonna go grab a uh, two ounce um, cup.
So what you're going to do, like I said, this does not have any of the dimethicone in it, so you're not going to get any uh, cells that are from dimethicone. But any cells that you do see that pop up in this are by itself. I hope this color here turns out. I really do. I don't want to tip this upside down yet. I'm trying to keep this sheet as clean as I can. And we got the purple. Cut off with the purple. Now this is where I would love to have a can. Oh, well, that wasn't supposed to do that, but hey, accidents happen, and that's just what we deal with. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is we're going to wait on a brand new one, so we'll do this one on our next trip. Really scared to do it on this one. So we're going to flatten out our feet here. And then take our chips that have been so lovely on this side, waiting for us to decide what we were going to do, if we were going to do anything else. Once again, we do have two different types of chips. This one has a thicker. Um, where this one has a thinner. I'm going to try to set them up so they don't fall on us. Try three. You are going to use the um, cover as a catch-all because we want to use them for skins for later on. Get these so they don't actually fall off the covers. Back a little bit more out. If I had a um canvas, I'll just let this pour onto the canvas. But that is something I do not have. What? Yeah? Come here. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was the kitten meowing. I don't know if you guys heard him, but oh my goodness, it's too cute. So what I'm going to do on this one, instead of a flip cup, I'm just going to pour an onto the edges. Um, you know, I saw someone do this on a bigger item. Oh, that was fun. Okay, so I guess it has a little bit more color to it. Pause in her experiments. Never know what's going to happen.
Like I want them close but not touching so that the paint can run off the sides. But at the same time, still be able to stay on drying rack. Because this drying rack has too thick of a um, holes. So next time if I find one, I'm going to be looking for one that is, has a smaller holes so that the chips and things like that do not fall off of it. Okay, guys, here we go with a 34. It has the gray, the purple, and the red. And it's going to fall onto our sheet here that will not be moved. Try to make sure that you're all picked up because that will be our skin for jewelry later on. So one, two, three, this is always scary for me. Going over the edge, middle, back out to the edge. Colors kind of go there. The one reason you, that's really great for doing it this way is you can make sure that you get all of the corners Oops, and of course, of course I hit one. Ah! Oh, thank you for not killing it. <laughs> thank you for not killing it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I'm gonna pour it onto there. Okay, and now we can tip this upside down. We can tip you upside down. Tip you upside down. And those will give us some rings. We do have this beauty of some paint. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep this shade and try to reproduce it because I really actually like this shade. I think it turned out really nice. Um, I'm going to let these kind of even out by themselves. They're definitely going to be dripping. I'm just adding a little bit of the paint to the sides so that it gives a little bit more traction to move and to slide. Kind of, and also just kind of mixes in all of these other colors that we had in the mix. Just kissing the sides, guys. I'm not doing anything in particular. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just kissing the sides so that they can slide off easier with the colors. And try not to touch anything that does not need it. <laughs> Okay, remember what I said earlier. Hey, Johnny. So 
very, very slightly do this because remember this, the bowl is on top of the cup. So any movements, everything is going to move. But what we're doing right now, just tapping it. Kind of even it out a little bit. Any paint needs to be moved. So adjusting it. Okay, one second, I'm going to let that rip, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, just to let you know, I do have the air gun out, so you will want to lower your volume just in case, because this is just going to pop the bubbles. All right, and there we have it. I'm gonna let these actually dry over here. Now remember, we are going to be using these guys as well. I know they look like crud. I'm wondering what I'm gonna do with them, but they do turn out to be a really cool crafting item. We're gonna keep this one to make that color again, because I really do like that shade. And I have enough paint of those colors to be able to make that shade. Now, if you watch my YouTube video that came out today, I do teach you guys about this trick here. This is an old uh, gaming board. This kind of, if you see with the difference in the colors here, this is an old gaming board that's underneath the trash bag. Well, it's not underneath, it's in between the trash bag. So when I picked this up, the paint on this side will be here. This is here and it's level. So anything that falls off will still be on here, but it's easier to pick up and move. So you're not having a whole bunch of jiggle jaggles with this because these are pretty flimsy and they're just, they're not fun to work with. Oh, I'm just like, I'm so scared to touch these guys. I'm really scared to touch them, but I see some little indentations that I have to fix. And what I'm doing is just going along the edge, trying to get any bubbles that might need to be falling off. I'm just kissing the edge of of these with the paint that is falling off. you are getting all of the same colors without bubbles. Don't be scared to move around, to walk around. this paint is still very wet and it is still moving. Hey Red, sorry I saw Johnny and I just said hi Johnny, but I, it's good to see you here girl.
So even though I'm coating the edges with the red, you are still going to get, hi baby, hi blue. Sorry, blue has been like on me like crazy. I know you cannot see what I'm doing on the back sides, but what I'm doing is basically letting the paint drop into a bubble onto the sides, not into the paint, but onto the sides of the paint. Just because I want some different colors coming in here. So yeah, all I'm doing is kissing it. Just kissing it. That way it gives some more little depth, a little bit more color. And then when it falls onto pattern, You're not mixing too much of the colors in a different pattern. You're also not making mud, which this is the scariest part when you're trying to do touch-ups. I just totally messed up that one, but that's okay because no one's going to know a sick for me. Okay. I really like that one. I don't want to mess it up so bad. <laughs> Remember, all of the drips that you guys do see coming off of the bowl is and will dry like that. That's why I like this really good tips. Um, I'll show it to you guys in a second if I can.
Okay. Tip that one back upside down. And now this is what we guys got. Oh, guys, you couldn't even see what I was doing. Why couldn't anybody tell me that? Pause, move your thing. We can't see you. You guys did not get to see anything I was just doing. I do apologize for that. Everything is pretty much picked up. I love my little container down here. It is awesome. These are how the chips will look once they're done and the chips are these guys here that you that I've just done and I just seen I need to get those two filled in. But once they're done, they look like this. Or ones like I'm trying to find a good one for you. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't have any right offhand that are not already worked on. There we go. That is what we are working with right now. She looks beautiful. This is where I get scared because, of course, I did not see this until just now. Yeah, how does that look? Okay. Um See another side I need to get, but I don't see what side it is. Like I said, all I'm doing is t is barely tapping the edges with the extra color. Not to make it a muddy color, but just to help it kind of slide off of the edges where it needs to be slid off. All looking in the camera to see <laughs> to see where else I need to tap. Okay, so those actually look really different. I just want this to drop off the so make sure all the sides look like they are coated. The top doesn't look muddy. So we are set so when it comes to that. Like always, we do have one side that has more color than the rest, but you can't be. So not bad, guys. We've gotten our inside bowls done. Um, I am definitely going to be redoing the clown. The clown is going to be redone. We are not keeping the clown, especially not with a beautiful front like this. We have our... Dud. Ah! It did not just do that, guys. Did you? Totally did not just do that. Let's hope this doesn't F it up.
How can Pause Various mess up her painting in two seconds? Drop something on it. That's just what she does. Now I want more of this blue when it's not coming out. Nope, it's too dark. Okay, guys, it's just gonna have to be what it is. <laughs> we all know I messed it up, so we'll see how it dries. Um, this poor baby's gonna be, this is gonna be her last time being poured on. So for sure, she's not gonna be poured anymore. So this is it, guys, we have, I am not going to try to do that again because as you can see, I totally like messed it up. And yeah, that is what, what I do, but we will be, Redoing clown hair. The blue didn't turn out too bad. That is the front. And we have this red one. So yay. Got a few more chips done so they look nice. I am I'm not upset by him, so that is always a plus, right? When you're not upset by the end result. There we go. Now I should have all the tips. And so yeah, thank you guys for showing up. Hey, Bed Duck. Let's see who else is popping in today. <laughs> Aha, bad duck. Yeah, I know. I'm making a mess. Hey, bad duck. But the mess is over, so hey. <laughs> I will talk to you guys all later. Old Bob says hi. Um, I will definitely, you guys all know me, have pictures up on my site, letting you guys see all the mess of goodness that this has created. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. And I will try to be on. Um, after picking up this big ass mess for some games. Bye guys. Let's see if I can raid. Probably can't because I can't get to my screens. <laughs>